Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I am reviewing the Tata Nexon. Now this particular car is an XM variant, it's a mid variant. The reason I am reviewing this car is, I consider that this car is a more value for money variant. So if you are planning to get a car under 10 lakh, which is a decent sized family car with more space and comfort, then this car should be in your shortlist. The USP of Tata Nexon is its safety because it has scored 5 star safety global and cap rating in terms of safety. So coming to the exterior, the grille is pretty unique with black piano black finished solid grille. Now there are some opening down here with tri arrow design element and there is an air dam on the bumper. There is a chrome strip running across the width of the car, connecting the DRLs. So this is the headlight placement. Projector set up for low beam, the high beam gets a regular halogen lamp. And down there, there is a provision for fog lamp and turn indicator is placed. So there is a piano black finished insert, C-shaped insert that is placed around the fog light, which complements the design of the car. Now coming to the side profile, it is more or less the same as previous generation. Body cladding is present around the car and there is also some cladding present on the door panels as well. Tire size happens to be 195.60 R16. The front wheel comes with a disc brake, the rear wheel comes with a drum brake. The front suspension is McPherson strut, it's independent suspension with coil spring. The rear suspension is a semi-independent torsion bar with coil spring. The A pillar, the B pillar and C pillar are blacked out to complement the sporty look of this car. The ORVMs are also finished in black along with turn indicators. ORVMs are electrically adjustable. These chrome door handles are optional. You can get it as an accessory. In general, you get a plastic door handle finished in black. Roof rails are present and finished in grey. And here is the antenna. One of the unique design element of Tata Nexon is this white strip running across the doors of the car and extended to the rear as well. H-shaped white strip is a unique design for the Nexon. This is the rear spoiler with high stop tail lamp. No wiper and defogger because it's a mid variant. Now the bumper do have some cladding along with tri arrow design. Two parking sensors were provided. And these are the reflector with black piano black finish. Now this tail lamp carry forwarded the tri arrow design and these tail lights looks gorgeous now this is the turn indicator and this is the reverse light and that's the brake light Nexon return in big bold wide font there is also one unique feature in Tata Nexon that you can access the boot by long pressing this button doesn't matter the car locked or unlocked, it still work. The boot carrying capacity is 350 liters. This partial tray is optional. And spare wheel is placed inside the boot. Now this is the spare wheel with toolkit. The spare wheel tire size is 195.60 R16. Now this is a sub 4 meter SUV 
with 209 mm of ground clearance and 2498 mm of wheelbase fuel tank capacity is 44 liters this car comes with two engine options one is the 1.2 liter turbo petrol and the other option is 1.5 liter turbocharged diesel engine now this particular car is a petrol version that puts out 120 horsepower and 170 newton meters of torque now let's check out the interiors but before that let's talk about safety tata nexon comes with dual airbags abs with ebd electronic stability control rollover mitigation and traction control on premium trims it also get tpms and rear view camera this is the rear door gets a good amount of storage space and the grab handle gets a grey finishing and this button is for the power window and this is the door opener there is also speaker placement now the rear seat gets integrated headrest this leatherette seat covers are optional in general Tata provides fabric seats in this variant there is also some storage space the upper half is also finished in ivory color which makes the cabin feel more spacious this is the maximum legroom and that is the minimum legroom available in the rear scooped out seat back for more legroom and there are also pockets to keep mags in let's jump into the driver's seat and check out the front row this is the driver's side door now there are controls for power window door opener you can also use this to lock and unlock all the doors grab handle finished in grey there is also good amount of storage space speaker placement and OVM control door shut with a nice thud now coming to the interior the main highlight is the digital instrument cluster and the flat bottom steering wheel these are the aircon controls and there are also some buttons to control the infotainment system it gets harman kardon infotainment system and the sound quality is really great here is a horn placement these are the controls for headlamp and these are the controls for wiper and this is a fully digital instrument cluster that shows bunch of information like dry mode and this is the RPM meter, fuel gauge indicator, indicator for engine temperature, driver seat belt warning and trip information, auto information, average fuel efficiency and fuel range as well. In the top spec it will also display the tire pressure in this MID now there is some storage space to keep stuff this is a manual handbrake this is a 6 speed manual gearbox it also has an option for 6 speed automatic gearbox this particular version is manual this is the dry mode selector there are 3 dry modes available city, eco and sport this eco mode gives you the best mileage the sport mode gives you the best performance or the city mode maintains the balance between eco and sport now in sport mode you get the 120 horsepower output which makes the engine pretty peppy to drive there is also usb port and a 12 volt charging socket this is the irvm there is also some storage space control for cabin lamp this is the sun visor no mirror is available for driver mirror is available only on passenger side this is the grab handle the grey panel running across the dashboard and that sporty looking steering wheel complements the overall design the fit and finish is great and i am very happy with the quality of interior this particular car x showroom price is 8.55 lakhs as of july 2022 do check the description for more details. Let me know what do you think about this car and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and I will be very happy to answer. 
With that being said, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more amazing reviews. Thank you and Jai Hind.